All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem three to the power of 13 minus three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as three to the power of 12 plus one minus three. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get three to the power of 12 times three to the power of one minus three. And from here, I can factor out three. So I get three times three to the power of 12 minus one. Now three to the power of 12, I'm gonna rewrite as three to the power of six times two. And that's equal to three times three to the power of six to the power of two minus one squared. And I'm writing this like this because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into three times 729 plus one times 729 minus one. This is equal to 730 times 728. So from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 700 plus 30 times 700 plus 28. So this is equal to 3 times 700 squared plus 700 times 28 plus 30 times 700 plus 28 times 30. Now this is equal to three times 490,000 plus 40,600 plus 840, which is equal to three times 531,440, which is equal to 1,594,320. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of three minus eight is equal to zero. So how most people solve this equation is they add eight on both sides. So I get x to the power of three is equal to eight and then they take the cube root on both sides. So the cube root of x to the power of three is x and the cube root of eight is two. So then they get x equals two, which is a solution to this equation, but actually there are more than one solution to this equation. So I'm gonna rewrite my equation here, x to the power of three minus eight equals zero. And now I'm gonna rewrite eight as two to the power of three. So I get x to the power of three minus two to the power of three is equal to zero. And then now I'm gonna use the formula a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So in this case, this turns into x minus two times x squared plus two x plus four is equal to zero. So now I get two equations. I get x minus two equals zero and x squared plus two x plus four equals zero. So for x minus two equals zero, I get x equals two, which was a solution that we already got. But now see on top of this, we have a whole nother equation with two more solutions because it's a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula. So I get negative two plus or minus the square root of two squared, which is four, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is four, all, all over two a, so two times one. And this turns into negative two plus or minus the square root of four minus 16 over two, which is equal to negative two plus or minus negative 12 over two, which is equal to negative two plus or minus 12i over two which is equal to negative one plus or minus six i. So these are the two more solutions to this equation. 